quickly end with a mice, Rabbi Isai, a story that's meaningful. To me, it's very, very meaningful. In the Warsaw Ghetto, so a man came up to Rabbi Menachem Zemba. The man said to Rabbi Menachem Zemba like this. He said, Rabbi, I'm involved in killing the Nazis. We know in the Warsaw Ghetto, they fought the Nazis. They, up, they, they made an uprising against the Nazis in Masha Mamazipa. And he said, I'm involved in killing Nazis. This, the, everybody was killed there. It seems there was a survivor or two. Who, who, there were a couple of people who survived, and somebody was there at this conversation. I read it in a place where I would believe it. And, and a man said to Rebbe Menachem Zemba, Rebbe, I'm involved in killing Nazis. I'm at the forefront of the revolution against Nazis. And he said that we're not going to last much longer. I know what's going on. We can't hold out. We're all going to die in a few days. He said, Maya Shara, I think he said we have three days to live. All of us. We can't hold them off much longer. We have three days to live. So, Rebbe, what should I do my last three days of my life? What should I do, Rebbe? Here I was like busy for a long time, for weeks and weeks. I'm fighting the Nazis. Now I see we have three days left. What should I do? Should I continue to fight them, kill a few more Nazis for three days? Or should I be busy learning Tyra Tfila the last few days on this earth? Be busy, Tyra and Tfila. What should I do? And Rabbi Menachem Zemba said to him, he said, Rabbi Yid, continue to kill Nazis. <coughs> Surprised. The last few days, like, you kill a few more Nazis. Rabbi Menachem Zemba told him that I want you to think, a Yid is precious. A Yid's important. A Yid's a Ben Melech. A Yid's the Am Hashem. Anachnu Yisrael Amoy. A Yid is from the nation of Hashem. And somebody touches a Yid, it's inappropriate. Ben Melech, the Chil Hashem. The, um, the, the um, Amalek attached Yidin is, is the begetted, the Yurei Elohim is lack of Yerushalayim. We're the people who Hashem's name, Shem Chagod of HaKadosh Oleinu Korasa. We represent Hashem, His name is upon us. And he said it's a Chil Hashem that a Yid is being touched. Reb Menachem Zemba told this year that I can see no greater thing in the world to be busy. You have three days left on this earth. I could think of no greater pursuit than Aramas Karen Yisrael than a restoration of the glory and dignity of Yid. Kill Nazis, he said. And have in mind, I am standing up for a Yid. A Yid is precious. Have in mind, Aramas Karen Yisrael. A Yid is precious. I protect Yid. I, I, I don't stand silent when a Yid is touched. Have in mind, he told him, I run us carrying Yisrael. I can't think of a better pursuit on this earth. So I say, we have long lives to Yid. Many, many long, long days and years. I say, though, Rabbi Nachem Zemba's words are true. That Rabbi Nachem Zemba told us, I can't see a greater mission than I run us carrying Yisrael, than a restoration of the dignity of the Yid. And I say, Rabbi Yisai, let's be mechazik, that revolution. At this time, what creates, what unleashes power that's dormant, but very there, is covetous. To be mechabed, the next person. Work hard, work harder. Don't settle, we're good at it. Get better. There's a lot more needed in the world. Don't settle that you're good. Get even better. Let's be mechazik, a tremendous strength of, 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 of covet of another person. Of being mechabed, everybody around us, even our sister, even our brother, everybody around us. To be mechabed, of course, I mean specifically, to be mechabed people around us, and we should be zoich of the karev, to see a kim of our Ramas Karen Yisrael, which certainly then follows the next Avinu Malkeinu, Harim Karen Meshichach of Meher Amen.